Good afternoon, friends. Welcome to our homestead. Welcome to our greenhouse. I usually don't comment on current affairs, but I thought this was incredibly necessary. The drop in the stock market is pretty significant. Let's talk about that and what you should do. Now, I thought this topic was important because it will certainly affect all of us. Money affects everyone. We all need it to live. But what I want to talk about is not panicking. Not panicking because of this big stock market drop and the fluctuations in the economy. And here's why. If we have prepared ahead of time and we've done our preps and we are moving forward to pay off debt and save money and acquire tools and things that can help out our family, then this shouldn't really affect us at all. Now, for some who have been on the fence about prepping and about paying off debt and getting out in the country and moving out from the city, then maybe this will push you forward. And hopefully you've already started that process ahead of time by paying down debt, and that's gonna help you out immensely. So regardless of what any one president does in terms of tariffs or reciprocal tariffs or you know negotiating trade or trying to balance the trade deficit, whatever it may be, it shouldn't affect us that much. And for some of you who are really going to be heavily affected by it, I want you to take a breather, it's gonna be all right, and I want you to consolidate, conserve, and save, and do whatever you can to ride out this wave. I'm not gonna inject my opinion one way or the other on whether this current move by this government is a good thing or not. Even though part of one of my degrees is a specialization in economics, I'm not gonna get into it. And the reason is, is if we are preparing, if we are conscious and conservative about what we are using and what we are saving in terms of what we make, then it shouldn't really affect us. Will it affect people's retirement accounts? Yeah, absolutely. Which is why it's good for all of us to diversify as much as we possibly can. It's my sincere hope that everybody watching this has already tried to start acquiring things that can help their family out. Like maybe it's just a little solar generator to keep the uh, refrigerators running. Maybe it's a tiny little greenhouse or you've done some raised beds in your backyard. Maybe it's some freeze dried food, some extra canned food, whatever it might be. I really sincerely hope that all of you have already made that first step in doing that and getting maybe just some small things. And if you haven't, I want you to go back and look at our archives on this channel. I've got over 650 videos on preparing and how to preserve food and how to build this greenhouse and how to build solar systems for yourself so that you can save money. That's always been my goal here on the channel is to show you how we DIY our own things I'm a guy who wants to not pay somebody else to do it, but do it myself. So it ends up saving me a ton of money in the end. Friends, these government moves in terms of monetary policy and reciprocal tariffs, they are going to affect all of us. Prices are gonna skyrocket on certain things and potentially many things. And maybe that move works out and maybe that brings manufacturing back here and lowers the cost of things, although our labor costs are high. We'll see how it all plays out in the end. But in the interim, maybe diversify your portfolio a little bit more. Maybe it's more precious metals and maybe it's less of something else. I don't know, that's up to you personally. For us, things like this and the solar system are investments. And you know in my videos, I always connect things back to the Word of God. We're Christians here, we're Bible-believing Christians, and I study it all the time. So if you look in Revelation 18, 11 to 24, it talks about the merchants of the earth. And since the book of Revelation is talking about the end times, it talks about those merchants screaming and having serious problems because they've aligned themselves with the beast. And they are angry with that beast power. And we all know who that is. At least every Protestant church knew that before maybe 1950. But they are angry because they've been ruined because they aligned themselves. And all of their merchandise is destroyed and burned up and all of their ships are wrecked. All that. You can go read that in that text. But friends, I know a lot of you who are regular watchers are already on this path, and I'm so excited about that. I'm trying to reach new people watching this. If you haven't made that step yet to move and to start securing things for your family, 
then please do so. But friends, please promise me, and this is very, very important, do not take forward steps out of fear and panic. I want you to make calculated decisions, get the plan moving, get those steps in place, and start making them and think about them, whether they're the right things for your family, because everybody's family is different. Everybody's finances are different. Everybody's home situation is different. Just plan things out and start taking steps forward. It, because whenever you see a massive drop in the stock market, and it has been about 14% drop in the last two months, give or take, including the last couple of days, then you do not want to panic over that. You wanna sit back and analyze things. And this could be a good buying opportunity for some of you. But even if it's a good buying opportunity now for someone, keep in mind, at the end of days, we're not gonna have any of that stuff. Can't take it with us. So be as wise as a serpent and as gentle as a dove when you're doing these things and plan out accordingly and move forward for what is best for your family. Okay, friends, I just wanted to share that quick message with you. If you are interested in how we build our greenhouse, you can click on this video right here, or how we built our solar systems, you can click on this playlist right here. Have a beautiful blessed day, and we will see you on the next video.